Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Ayanna and welcome to my channel. What's up y'all? What's up? So as you can tell from the title, it's official. I'm officially done with talking about the industry. I'm going to keep my CDL current though, you know, because you never know what could happen. But your girl is done. I cleared out my truck today. My last day was originally supposed to be Friday, but it, and it's Wednesday, but it is what it is. So <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, I honestly, y'all, I'm just, I'm so happy. Like, you guys just don't understand how happy I am to be out of trucking, period. Um, you know, I could have went local, I could have done a local job, but I'm just, I'm tired of the truck. Just, I'm tired of it. And the number one reason why I decided to get out of it is because I'm getting, I'm burnt out. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, I'm paying so much for a house that I don't even live in. You know what I mean? Like, I'm only home two, four, six, eight, maybe eight days out of the month. Y'all just don't understand how long I just took cleaning my house because I've neglected it for like two years. Because who wants to work all week and come home and clean up? Nobody. Nobody. You work all week and then be home for, what, a day and a half? Two days, maybe? If you're lucky, you gotta head back out. That lifestyle just was not for me. It just wasn't. And I just felt, you know, I know car hauling period is like more of a do job, which is cool. But at the same time, I like to feel feminine doing what I do. And I just could not feel feminine in a truck. Okay, I barely had time to come home and get my nails done or my hair done or any of that. Because we all, we still all have other business we have to take care of. So it's pretty much priorities when you come home. And, you know, I honestly was just burnt out. It just was. I mean, don't get me wrong. Trucking has changed my life. It, it got me my first car. My first home to live in. Shoot, I even met my husband. But, you know, everything has pros and cons. And like I said, trucking is just not for everybody. And I grew out of it. I loved it at first, but I grew out of it. <laughs> you know, at the end, I just feel like I'm slaving. But... Like I said, it's different for everybody. You might love your job, and I'm sure you do. But me personally, I'm done with it. Hasta, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like, I'm just going to say this. My number one advice to anybody who gets in trucking, just um, make sure you go to good companies. Not saying I've been to any bad companies, but... The lifestyle balance really plays a part. I want to say the best companies I've been to when it comes to life balance is probably Centurion or Carvana. Because Carvana, I was home every day, but Centurion, you know, you get to start your schedule whenever you want. And it's not a forced dispatch. Dispatch. <laughs> it's not forced dispatch. And Honestly, like, if I had to go back to any trucking company, it would be Centurion, like, top tier, like, no doubt about it. No doubt. It didn't bother you, as long as you got your work done, and, like I said, it's not for his dispatch. I mean, shoot, I loved it there, and Carvana was cool, because you're home every day, rail, Real is real. They're not bad, but you got to be out 30 days to be home for a week. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and then the current company I just left, only home for a reset. Nah, I couldn't do it. Mm, burnt out. Done with it. And then I got it and ended it kind of shabby because I got a damage. You know, I got a damage. I'm feeling kind of iffy about it because... I told these people I didn't want to take that load, meaning I had four pickup trucks, four big, big pickup trucks, a Tahoe, a CRV, and a um, <clears throat> and a BMW, I believe. And I asked them to switch out one of. The, I was trying to get them to switch out one of the pickup trucks for for a smaller vehicle. And they were just like, "No, nah, you know, just load it like this, and you should be good." Okay. <clears throat> Well, I took that load, drove it to Virginia, and um, went under some trees, 
because I went away that I didn't go originally. Like I've only been to this, to this location one time and then this is my second time going. But, you know, they didn't give us any directions on which way to go, which way to not go. And the way that I came the second time, it was nothing but trees. And I'm 13, 11, almost 14 feet. And I went under them trees, cracked the windshield, and dented the roof. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cracked the windshield and dented the roof. Something told me, just something, I just should have listened to my instinct. Something told me, get a smaller cord. Because I I knew, I knew that. And it was a Lord, it was, I've loaded, the, I've loaded a load like that, but it was on like a trail. And with the Lord can be a little different sometimes. Like, I didn't even know how to use the um, SUV pockets on the Lord. <clears throat> but... You know, I was kind of upset about that, but it is what it is. Ain't nothing I can change. I'm not tripping about it. But I'm just, I'm kind of just over the trucking industry, period. Okay. I'm not about to slave and then I'll be home. Like, if I'm going to slave, at least let me be home every day. But if I'm not going to, if I'm going to slave and I'm only home for a day, a day and a half, got to get out of here. Not out of there. I gotta get out of there. Okay, <laughs> like seriously, it's just, it just wasn't for me. You know, I feel like now I can live and be more feminine and just free. Don't have to get back in a truck. I don't have to get back in a truck. My goodness. Yeah, but it's cool. It is what it is. But, you know, I'm doing over. Get free schooling. I ain't tripping, you know what I mean? I'm not tripping. I just gotta work a little harder. Gotta put some miles on the car. I could rent a car, but I ain't gonna do that right now. And, um, yeah, that's just my plan right now as far as, like, a job. You know, for now. But, um, yeah. Stay tuned for... The new chapter, the new lifestyle that I'm about to have. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that's come to my channel for trucking, through trucking, or even if you just learn anything from my channel, I appreciate it. But now that chapter is gone. It's done. After I post this video, I don't want to hear nothing about another truck. <laughs> um, after I post this video, I'm just going to be pretty much vlogging of my life and how I'm trying to be the one I want to be, to evolve, and uh, do some fun stuff, some shopping, but it's definitely going to be more focused on weight loss, I ain't going to hold you, so if that's not your topic, you know, you can skedaddle, it's okay, but yeah, we got to get this weight off before anything pop off on this channel, and I have, I don't have the, uh, I I ain't gonna lie to you, I was using trucking as an excuse because it's like, dang, I can't do nothing. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. But now I can't use nothing as an excuse now. Like, I'm, I'm, I have everything I need. There's a gym right up, up the street. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you made it to the end, comment down below the end <laughs> or comment comment down below next chapter let's get into it yeah <laughs> but yeah guys stay tuned for some more videos and i'll catch you in the next video bye